I want to talk about asexuals. <laughs> Mainly because I am one. Hello. And they say I don't know how to start a set. So yeah, I am asexual. And uh, if you don't know what that means, you should probably learn what a prefix is. You don't even need to learn that many. It's A. It's literally the first one. But I'm not your English teacher, so I'm just going to tell you what the word means. All right? So asexual just means I am sexually attracted to nobody. All right? I, don't, I just don't feel sexual attraction at all. Or to put that in terms that I think everybody in here can understand, I literally do not give a fuck. <laughs> now, I am capable of giving a fuck. Like, all the parts needed to give a fuck do work. <laughs> But I have no desire to give a fuck. That is, that is the situation. So as you can probably tell by what I, that mess of words I just said, I have a pretty complicated relationship with sex. I, I like to think about sex the same way I think about In-N-Out Burger. Because when I was growing up, everybody just hyped the shit out of In-N-Out Burger, right? They're like, holy crap. This is life changing. You should see all the stupid shit I've done to get some In N Out Burger. And so I bought into the hype because, of course, I did. All right? Now, it took me a while for somebody to offer me some In N Out Burger. That's no surprise to anyone in here. <laughs> but when I was 19, somebody finally offered me some. And at the time, I remember thinking, I mean, I'm not hungry, but I might as well see what the fuss is about. So I tried it, all right? I shared in and out burger with this person. I got into the burger. I got most of the way through the fries. And I remember thinking, that's all? This is the whole thing. This is what y'all been hyping up this whole time. I'd rather be playing Mario Kart right now, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that was a possibility in this situation. All right, this is bland and uninspired. Now, I shouldn't have said that last part in front of a chef. That was a mistake. You know how, like, when you're eating a burger, sometimes you'll say the name of the wrong restaurant? That's what normal people do. I tell the chef I'm bored. So when I told my friends about this, about not liking In-N-Out Burger, they were like, yeah, but if you try it animal style, <laughs> that's the only way I'll do it, baby. <laughs> and you know what? I did. I did try it animal style. You know what happened? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Still rather be playing Mario Kart. <laughs> Just... You know, I'm, yeah, uh, yeah, I just, I'm glad I did, okay, you know what, at some point, okay, I just remember what's going, what the actual is supposed to say, cool, good job, <laughs> only took 20 seconds, good job, <laughs> new record, um, <laughs> you know, I, and at some point, after trying all of these things, you just gotta admit to yourself that you're not a fan of having in and out Burger, hmm? okay, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not broken. Because contrary to popular belief, liking in an out burger is not what makes us human. <laughs> it's chins. <laughs> Look it up. We're the only species that has a chin. It's kind of weird. You know what, I'm glad, I'm glad I experimented, because even though I didn't have like a great experience with all that, I still learned stuff about myself. Like for example, I learned, if I'm gonna have a burger, I'd rather just make it myself. <laughs> it's simpler, it's an easier cleanup. <laughs> I don't need to get another person involved. <laughs> 
for the taste, really. It's just sometimes you need something to do. <laughs> and plus, if you make your own burger two to three times per week, it can help with prostate health, so. <laughs> I may have lost track of the metaphor here at some point. But I feel like everybody has the general idea of what I was trying to say. So I think I have accomplished what I was attempted to do. With only one 20 second pause for no reason. Right. When I first told that joke on stage, I had a comedian come up, the comedian right after me came up on stage and was like, man, I wish I could be asexual. That would solve all of my problems. <laughs> like, I wish that I was able to have all of my thoughts all of the time. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, it is true. I do have all of my thoughts all of the time. But on the other hand, I have all of my thoughts all of the time. <laughs> Do you have any idea how fucking annoying I am? Do you think I'm a bit much now? Understand, you are getting the scripted, edited, filtered version of Cody Webb. Right? And you're getting the instant on easy mode. I'm only doing one thought at a time. This motherfucker has six thoughts at once. And none of them will shut up! Like, you know how desperately I want to be able to turn my brain off? Think about fucking? I would love some dick brain, but it's not gonna happen! Like, the only way I can shut off my brain now is head injuries! And I'm too, I'm too out of shape to play football, so that's also on me. <sighs> I'm sure there are other ways to get head injuries besides football. But I just wrote that part today, so I don't have, to, I don't have time to go into that. <laughs> Next joke. <laughs> You, I can do segways. Next joke. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't do drugs. Okay, good, you can tell. It's not because I don't want to. It's just I don't want to ruin drugs' reputation. I still want drugs to be cool for everybody else. All right, I don't want to take that away from you. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Cody, you couldn't possibly make drugs uncool. Are you sure about that? You do realize if I ever do cocaine, it's going to be through a crazy straw, right? The least efficient method of cocaine transportation. And I have watched a lot of Pablo Escobar documentaries. What I do instead of sex and drugs. <laughs> and if I ruin cocaine, I'm pretty sure parties are just done. All right, they're just not happening anymore. Now, I haven't been invited to a party before, but I've heard good things. So I don't think, as a comedian, it's a great business decision to become the guy who didn't just ruin one party, he ruined all parties. So I'm just gonna sit back, relax, not do drugs. All right, you're welcome. And that passive aggressive you're welcome goes out especially to the stand-up comedians in the audience. Because I know for about 60% of you, if you can't do drugs, you lose your entire personality. <laughs> Alright? So what I'm saying is, book me for shit. <laughs> I am not afraid to use this power for evil. <laughs> Alright? I'm going to 
take advantage of this. I'm going to turn this into a Netflix deal somehow. <laughs> Although it seems like the only way to get a Netflix deal is to be transphobic. So maybe not that one. I'll pick a different, I'll pick a different company. All right, I'm going to end off on this. Heroin's a big problem. I like to end it light, you know? Heroin's a big problem. Especially in rural areas, like farms. But you'll never hear about it because they keep hiding their needles in the haystack. I love ending on a pun, so that way the next comedian has to fucking earn it! Elon Musk of comedy. I'm gonna get all the work and then just screw everybody else over. All right, thank you so much. Give it up.